Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. Huh? Bill Jablonski. Hmm. Did Okada give you the details? My info is I'm supposed to off some. No, not just anyone. Joshua Stevenson, a fucking murderer. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So we can smell his own fear before he dies. Wait, Stevenson won't be alone? Could have prepared better knowing that. No one else needs to die today, only him. Who's his entourage? They gonna be packing? Ordinary people. Once we scare them, let them know we're serious, they won't lift a finger. How do you define ordinary? Corpo rats who got him out of the can. They'd sell their own mothers to save their own skins. Just don't fire at them. One of dead, why exactly? That's not your concern. Rather know what I'm getting into. Stevenson murdered my wife. They convicted him, put him on death row. But the slime bag found a get out of jail free card over my dead fucking body. Plan sounds half-baked. Honestly, don't like it. What's that supposed to mean? First up, don't execute in public. Don't need an audience. Second, they could get away. I don't get it. I spent my life savings on this. That's them! Step on it! Don't let him get away! I'm gonna blow the motherfucker to bits myself! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna fucking kill him! NCPD! Stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez, NCPD! Stop right there! You're protecting a murderer! Drop it or I shoot! Wait! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault! Shoot the guy, and our deal is dead. Vasquez! Shoot! Right! Let's just all shoot holes in each other! Help loud? Fuck! We can't leave him here! 
media vultures will be here any minute. The fuck are you doing? Stop! NCPD! Stay where you are! And get that goddamn semi out of here! We take him with us. What? Olga, you want, we've got you want me to come with you? <laughs> I need you. You're out of your fucking mind. Hey, another word from you, and I am calling this. Gregor, busted Don't make an me attempt ruin your career, career. guy. Nobody. Yeah. And I mean cash. nobody. Bill well, jumped on him. A hair. No prior head. But run a deep sweep. I'm just, just uh, borrowing you. Thanks. I owe you. No patrol car, and stay off the frequencies too. What the Can't hell have is this? Coming this? Back. <laughs> What's your name? Fuck this! Josh Stevenson. Kid. But you probably could listen to me. Fucking listen! You were associate. We're clear to go. What the boy from the name? precinct will mop up here. Bill Jablonski. Ring a bell? Sadly, yes. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take him. Out of the question. He's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give him a job. <sighs> Christ on a stick. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some popcorn. You gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know. Got to object strongly. Noted. But you don't have a vote here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. All right. I'll go with you. Remove it. We're running late. Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? say that sure then you will understand exactly what I'm trying to do 12 years ago I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery and other sins I shot and killed several people in cold blood and it didn't mean anything to me at the time but behind bars you get all the time in the world to think and I thought to correct the errors of my ways Why'd you shoot him? I was holding a gun. I didn't like the way they looked at me, and I had the power to stop them. I still see their faces just before I... <clears throat> Frozen in time. God, give me strength to never forget. A tale of repentance, redemption, and rebirth? Been on TV a thousand times, probably. I'm usually asleep before it's half over. This won't be TV. This will be entirely different. Spill already. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. You know, I still got that contract to kill you. What's to stop me from fulfilling? Me. One strange twitch, I kill you. Hey, there's no reason to upset Vasquez. Your fixer will get what they want. I'll make sure of it. How you figure that? Trust me. Everyone will be satisfied. I guarantee it. I still got no idea what it is you want from me. Remain by my side and talk to me. That's it. Don't like Rachel. She's got the gift of the gab, surely. I'm merely a springboard for her career. <laughs> a high-value asset. You're the one I want to talk to. Just till the end of the day. Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong, I'm out. No one will force you to stay. 
We're almost at Gloria LMR's. Give me a moment. I need to prepare. Vasquez, keep an eye on them. I'm gonna stay in the car. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule. Zuleika? You're... late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleika. V, pleasure. Mm. You are a friend of Joshua's? Recent acquaintance, more like. <sighs> Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Please, sit down. Can I offer you anything? A drink? A uh, glass of water. Please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. You're the reason Joshua found redemption. It was her letter that started everything. I lost a brother. God gave me another. I'm not buying it, not at all. You believe in a merciful God, yet he allowed for your brother's murder. Let it happen. I grieved for Reuben. You cannot know how much. I wanted him back. But then God showed me his plan, and I found peace. The Lord knows I regret killing Reuben, but if not for him, I never would have found the path to God. We can't know the paths of divine providence. Do you believe in God, V? For all I know, there could be a higher power out there. But nobody's been able to prove it. No one ever will. Faith is something no one but you can prove. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no! I never agreed to anything like this! I'm all ears. Joshua, he... He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. I still don't get what's happening here, Zuleika. When they put Joshua away, the scream sheets devoted space to him on page 5. But when they discovered he'd found God, suddenly he was on primetime TV. 
What's wrong with using a platform to tell people about my faith and God's grace? Hm? We are way past that, Joshua. Instead of being executed in prison, he agreed to let Braindown Studio Vultures record his agony as he's being crucified. Why the brain dance? What, what's in it for you? Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of his divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, and murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Uh, mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Just go, please. Out, all of you! <laughs> we should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child. My son. Let's go back to the car. just wish I could have talked to Gloria and you know, explained everything. If somehow I thought... I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Where are we eating? Uh, Pie Z. They do a great cup of coffee. Got a killer cheesecake at Pie Z. I'm lactose intolerant. How about vegan avocado ice cream, then? How well do you know the city? Why does it matter? I'm just curious. Happen to like it out here is all. You can't know Night City well. Ever. It's always changing. Always surprising. Part of its charm. Hmm. <laughs> True that.
Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. Wait up a sec, I want to talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? He's got some organic chips loose. Needs psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. But it's too late for that. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain, composed entirely of cat shit at this point, he truly believes what he says. I think he might be more self-possessed than you think. Look, you're no shrink and neither am I. We're both just out to get paid. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. Not bad for a petty merc off the streets. Corporal rats. Think they can solve everything with eddies. And you proved her wrong. Just don't make her desperate. She's liable to bite back. Seen every kind of dirtbag in this city. This Jesus shit ain't fooling me. You even think about making a break for it, your ass is going down. Nobody's paying you to open your mouth, Vasquez. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez, even for a badge. He is set in his ways, like so many men. Vasquez, he blew inside and out. Might as well have been born with a badge. Must have some solid dirt on him then. And the studio majority stakeholders a corp. Unlike you, Vasquez would clearly mind having enemies in high places. This brain dance. I'm curious. Tell me more. Title's the passion. We're speaking to the LCD, of course. And it's gonna revolutionize BD. How so? Well, Stevenson's furlough is only so long. We can only scroll the last bit with him. But we'll fill in the run-up to the finale with BD doubles and Nemo Bank assets. It'll feel like Stevenson, though. How's that even possible? Give me a break. We're part of EBM. Infinite investment in tech. A couple of years and we won't be using actors anymore. My dream of the day. So why Josh? Sounds like you don't even need him now. The son of man's agony. You can't weave it strictly out of digital threads just yet. And you? Get any say in all this? He forced the writers to go with the Christian gospel according to Luke. They'd originally opted for John. Guess that's, uh, important for... John's version is crude and over the top. The gospel of Luke speaks more to my sensibility. Besides, Luke's Christ is prepared for what awaits him. I want the world to understand that. Feel it. What does he want to convey, exactly? That Christ was merciful, and continues to die for the world's sins. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. 
Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Relax, Rachel. Yes, why? I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. Didn't take you for one with the spiritual side. You being... Well... You? Know what your problem is, all of you? You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? Experience all of Chromanticore's 16 new flavors. Tell you exactly why. No, I don't give the slimmest shit what you have to say. Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel. No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you, get lost. I'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Props. Really well played, Dad. What do you make of it all? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. Your cynicism is starting to wear thin on me. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? Corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel Johnny? Seemed to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real Rebel. Make up your mind, which is it? Nut job or Messiah? He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head, and you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. What do you think? God exists? Fuck, kill me, please. Come on, serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. Out of the car. Hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche. Possible consequences thereof. Really. I mean, are you already dead or alive to the last existing digi-ghost of you is shredded? Meaning like, am I gonna ascend to digi-heaven? Descent to digi-hell's more likely. But yeah, there is life after death. Is Silverhand already live in the afterlife, and I'm talking to his animated epitaph? I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise! To me, I'm just that. Me. No netherworld, no happy wonder world, just duped digital psyches. The truth is, I died and rose again. Plain and simple. Uh-huh, so what was that? A miracle? What's it make you? A messiah, a phoenix, or a factory restored early model archer? Got no fucking idea what it was. And neither do you. Tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit of corpo tech. If there's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. <laughs> One you'd summarily execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and you're you. You drop to your knees before gods. I drop them, pop them right between the eyes. Weird as fuck today. Just kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash. It's good you're here. I had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... They're family. 
Exactly. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Sol. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Sol. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always Pan Am. You and me are chums. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grodd. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be... Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. Never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Their problem. Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be his guardian rifle. Going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. Your leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections.
you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. Tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. I feel like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Let's sum things up, just to be sure. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Saul. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. They are many, we are few, so we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. 
You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Take it for a spin if you like. let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... One hell of a storm! Looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than it's look. We have to move quickly. Okay, let's go over the plan again. You slip into the Wraith's camp. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. Thank you. 
Found Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time.
Alright, I'm in position. I have you in range. Sniper is no longer a problem. Keep moving. Eyes peeled. I see several heavy hitters. You and I are gonna have when I find you. Nothing to be shy about! Good way to get to the garage. From there, you can access a footbridge leading to the main structure.
That should be their garage. It's heavily guarded. Knowing them, they have something important in there. You might even gain access to the security system. straight ahead.
Right. I think I got. Is he breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh, oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing okay. up the engine. Just give I'll me be a right shot. You won't pay back? Too late. Got no rafts left to share. You? Alone? All of them? Pan Am watched my back. I can confirm. There is no movement in the compound. I'll pull up to collect you shortly. Be careful down there. Vermin could still crawl out of some hole. tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. just whip us off this road. We need to find shelter. The Ingalls farm? Good idea. You two know? No one's lived there a while. Biotechnica saw to that.
Do you see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The angle's left in a hurry. Biotech has made them a good offer. Yeah, right. Sell us your land. You don't know that. No backhole loaders ever showed up. Lousy, rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp, you end with nothing, Saul. Don't go there. Not now. to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Anything else? Your Excellency? Huh. I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death. Expiration dates from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, off-loading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. <sighs> it's not the time for this. We're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. You gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? You know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste. You know, your hunger for freedom. It's not easy to come by in Night City. The corpse got their grubby claws and everything. And I just can't believe you'd hand them what you hold to be most precious. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. 
are not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? High boobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? To her boobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ooh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. And? You think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? Then what did you have in mind? Here at the Independent California, customer satisfaction is job one. Your wish is our command. Careful. You can't know what I'd wish for. Mm hmm? You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Do you hear that? No. Mm. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, should I? Not awake. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Good work, V. Old style raid. It's all doing all right? Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it. Bossing folk every which way. You? Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> Too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Oh, wait, hang on. I thought you were headed back to the Alicaldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on.
Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing, the wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alde Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Oh, uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different, I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. You won't bury the hatchet with Pan Am? <laughs> I'd say it was more like a battle axe. These things, they're tough to bury, and even tougher to keep buried. But I'm optimistic. Her heart seems like it's in the right place. How are you feeling? Free. No better feeling in the world. Know why I read? Because only fiction's capable of conjuring up any kind of sense about this world. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once the radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it. <laughs>